again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 7th of March, 2009. Some of you may know that Whole Foods was purchased by Amazon about a year ago. And a whole lot's changed. Some good, some bad. And the good was short-lived. Whole Foods markets. Whole Foods adopts $15 minimum wage, then starts slashing workers' hours significantly. The dream of the $15 minimum wage was finally realized among Amazon employees after the company caved to mounting pressure and implemented company-wide on November 1st. But according to a new report, the improved wages aren't working out as many employees had hoped at Amazon's Whole Food grocery store chain. The Guardian reported Wednesday that employees at Whole Foods, which Amazon purchased back in 2017, have experienced a dramatic drop in scheduled shifts since the rates wages were introduced. Along with the new $15 minimum wage for entry-level positions, some high-level food employees have also enjoyed a $1 to $2 increase in hourly wages. The outlet notes it all sounds good until employee schedules are taken into account. Since the wage increase in November, Whole Foods employees say they've experienced widespread cuts that have reduced shifts across many stores, often negating wage gains for employees, the Guardian reports. The employees speaking on condition of an inmate for fear of retaliation revealed to the outlet that they've seen an average of about 30% reduction in hours per week for part-timers and about a 10% reduction for full-timers. An Illinois base told The Guardian, my hours went from $30 to $20 a week after the $15 minimum wage hike. The employee explained that once the $15 minimum wage hike was enacted, part-time employees' hours at the store were cut from an average of 20, uh, 30 to 21 hours a week. A full-time employee saw average hours reduced from 37 and a half hours to 34 and a half hours, The Guardian reports. The workers provided schedules from November 1st to the end of January 2009, showing hours for workers in their department significantly decreased as a department's percentage of the entire store labor budget stayed relatively the same. The employees say the company expects workers to accomplish their goals faster so their hours can be cut to balance the cost of the wage increases. <laughs> you know, uh, they're cracking the whip, huh? Just like the crackers used to ride through the fields, snapping the whip, pick cotton quicker, pick cotton quicker. The employee provided the outlet an internal email from a department manager saying the slash shifts were a direct result of guidance from our regional team. And it's not just Illinois. A Maryland-based employee told the paper the regional manager had ordered that all full-time employees suffer a four-hour reduction per week to 36 hours, making the raise pointless because people are actually losing more than they gained as a result of fewer hours worked. An Oregon-based Whole Foods employee cited a similar policy of reducing full-timers from 40 to just 36 or 38 hours a week. The Guardian says the hours reduction of Whole Foods fits the larger pattern of what is happening at his Amazon warehouses. As the Daily Wire pointed out on Wednesday, a new Employment Policy Institute survey of 197 working economists found 74% opposed raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. 84% think it would hurt youth employment, and 77 believe it would have a negative impact on the number of jobs available. 43% of the economists surveyed think the federal minimum wage should be eliminated altogether. Folks, it's uh, really amazing how these major corporations figure out ways to screw their employees, huh? You know what should happen. People should boycott Whole Foods. But 
that unfortunately won't happen. Just like people should boycott Amazon, but that too unfortunately won't happen. We keep creating our own demise, don't we? I'll attach the link. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends. It's sort of a warning for companies that go ahead and get pressured to offer $15 minimum wage because this kind of activity will repeat itself. The employees will be no further ahead. In this case, many of them are worse off. Thanks for listening.